Hi there, I'm back with a super duper quick video, because it seems that Shauna, the bio mom of N and D, has finally made a GoFundMe. She writes, My name is Shauna. I am in recovery and have been for almost a year now. I have completed every request the courts and CPS has required of me successfully except one thing, affordable housing. I found a manufactured three bedroom, two bath home for sale with lot rent being very affordable. In order for my two children to be returned to me, I need to have a stable forever home. I struggle financially. I am disabled. Please help if you can? Every dollar counts and it will add up. I love my children so much and miss them terribly. Please help me get my babies back. This is my last obstacle. In this GoFundMe, Shauna is claiming to have been clean and sober for a year. Folks, that is not true. Shauna has been clean for barely two months and employed for less than a month. She is not in any place in her recovery to be asking for or accepting large quantities of money. And look, it brings me no joy to make this video, but considering that Brandy is going live tonight with updates about Shauna, I felt that it was important that everyone have the facts. Brandy and Enora have been intentionally obscuring this fact from their audience. Not only that, but they have been exploiting Shauna and her vulnerable mental state to advance their so-called fight against child exploitation. Not only that, but there have been comments, all deleted now conveniently, calling out that Shauna is misrepresenting the truth in this GoFundMe. The Shauna hasn't been clean for a year. I've also had multiple sources, multiple, close to Shauna and the Doherty's tell me the same fucking thing. Guys, she's scamming us. They are scamming us. And now, together, Brandy, Anora, and Shauna have convinced all of their audience, all of you, that Shauna just needs help with housing. That that's the only obstacle left for her to get her kids back. She just needs $22,000 for a down payment on a trailer home. That's it. That's all. It's just, it's so simple. Keep in mind, in the same paragraph of her GoFundMe, Shauna says that she is struggling financially and that she's disabled. Ma'am, how the fuck are you going to pay a mortgage then? What about all of the other hidden fees that comes with purchasing a home? Even if you do get pre-approved for a mortgage, Shauna, you still have to maintain a stable income or you will default and be fucked. And what about property taxes? What about municipal and school taxes? Or the cost for an inspection? And the cost for a notary? What about moving costs? Or what about moving costs, home insurance? What about your debt? Because that will affect how much money you can borrow. Do you need appliances? Is that something you're gonna have to buy? What about repairs or general upkeep of this property? A lot goes into owning a home, a lot more than renting. We're talking about a lot of money and a lot of responsibility, more than I think Shauna is capable of at this point in her recovery. I also found it interesting that Shauna fails to mention that the restraining order against her doesn't expire until August. To me, this GoFundMe reads as manipulation. This is a sob story, a pity ploy to win our hard-earned honest dollars. Because if Shauna was actually serious, she would have a plan and would be able to present it to us her essentially investors about what that plan is, including things like her pre-approval for a mortgage and what she needs to complete the sale and so on. Instead, she is asking for a down payment on a potential home that even with money in hand, there's no guarantee that they'll accept her offer. Folks, this is a grift. Nothing more and nothing less. And Brandy and Honora are well aware of it and or they are too inexperienced in their own life to even comprehend how there will never be a house, just more drugs and presents and a new grift in a few months, a new pity ploy for money. How in good conscience can we comfortably give money to an unreliable adult who is in no place within their recovery to be trusted with any kind of money? let alone 22,000 fucking dollars. Again, this was not the video I saw myself making today. And believe me when I say that I want the best for Shauna. But at this point, I find it increasingly difficult to believe that she is doing anything other than manipulating us. 
And I think that all of you deserve to know the truth before you decide to support her. Whether you do or you don't is your decision, but you deserve to be armed with the truth. Anyway, that's all I had to say. A big, big thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. I appreciate all of you so much, especially everyone who has stuck around. You guys are amazing, and I hope that you all have an excellent holiday weekend. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Let's party! Judah! 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 Judah!